But you guys got another video. Should you upgrade your old PC or buy new? That's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. And uh, basically, I break it down into two categories, what you need and what you want. So what you need is basically going to be, is your PC broken? Then obviously you need a new computer. Is the PC having hardware issues? Then yes, you can work out what hardware issues is and work out whether it's worth fixing it or just replace the PC altogether. They're the things that are pretty common and we already know those. What, what do you actually use the computer for? This is very important because this will answer all of your questions quite easily. So does the PC do everything you want it to do? If you're using your computer for, say, for instance, uh, just light use, maybe surfing a web, watching some YouTube videos, and maybe doing some emails and things like that, then you're not going to need a really high-end system. I see a lot of people in the comments section getting confused and saying, I'm using a 10-year-old computer and it does everything that I want it to do. I'm quite happy. Well, you've just answered your own question. Not everyone falls in that category. Some people have heavy workloads and they just can't uh, cope with an older system like myself. Now, if you have got an old computer and you've got a mechanical drive inside there, you may want to consider replacing this mechanical drive with an SSD. And if you're capable of upgrading it to a SSD NVMe drive, then even better. The reason why I say this is because it's going to make the system a lot more snappier. It will boot up a lot faster and it will also be able to load things up a lot faster because you're using uh, an SSD rather than using a mechanical drive. Now, if you're using an old PC that has, say, for instance, an AMD uh, Phenom 2 times 4 940 CPU, which was released in 2008, like this person mentioned in the comments yesterday, and there's eight people that thumb that up, and that's okay. If you're using a system like that, and it does everything you want it to do, like I've said, and you can play games on it at the resolutions that you want to play it at, at the settings you want to play it at, and you're quite happy with that system, and it can do all of the things, whether you're video editing and things like that, and it's not impacting your workflow, then good for you. If that's okay, by all means, use that system. But if you're like me, I could not live with that sort of processor in 2023. Now, another thing to consider is if you've got a really old system and you're using it for work and you're doing, say, video editing or virtual machines or doing something that's really taxing and it's taking you forever to do anything on that system, then you've answered your own question. It's time to replace that computer. It is too old. And again, if you are using something like the AMD Phenom 2 x 4940, now, that processor was released in 2008, and that is obsolete. And that means you are using Windows 7, which is also obsolete. And that makes that system super vulnerable. Now, all I can say is you're probably using that system for very light use, because I can guarantee you that would not take uh, any sort of workload of uh, the normal people of today. With some of the games out there today that are so demanding, and also some of the uh, tasks that you want to do like video editing it would be absolutely painful to use something of that age now i can understand the nostalgia side of things where people like to renovate old systems and use them and that's okay but at the end of the day you have to be realistic and again another thing i see a lot of people saying is just install linux on that old system and it will work really well yes it will be able to uh, give it a new lease of life in the sense of you can use that system uh, for say light use but you're not going to be able to do any sort if you couldn't do video editing on it with windows you're certainly not going to do video editing on it uh, uh, on linux it's just an old system now talking about cpu upgrades is it worth upgrading a cpu well it depends whether you can upgrade your cpu you may be on the highest valued cpu already so if you can't upgrade your cpu ram or gpu then you're probably at a point where that PC has had its day and it may be time to replace it. Again, RAM upgrades. These can be quite useful for people. If you're running an old system with four gigabytes of RAM and you're trying to run Windows 10 or Windows 11, I see this problem quite a lot and uh, it really does grind to a halt. It really makes it super slow. You need more than four gigabytes of RAM to run Windows 10 properly. Otherwise, you're going to run into major issues. I would say at the bare minimum, you would need eight gigabytes of RAM or probably by today's standards, 16 gigs is probably the bare minimum of today's standards, whereas eight gigabytes was a few years ago. 
So I would definitely say that's the direction we're going in. So that's what you need to look at if you are basically upgrading your system. So if you're one of those people that is using an old system, maybe you're using a third generation Intel i7-3770 and you're a light user and you're not doing anything too taxing on that system, then by all means, you can continue to use that computer until the end of life of Windows 10 and you will have a choice whether you want to replace that computer or use uh, an unsupported installation of Windows 11. That's entirely up to you. Now, if you're doing one of these three things on your PC, and you've got a really old computer, then I'm pretty sure that you're going to be struggling in 2023. And that is if you're doing high resolution video editing, I certainly wouldn't want to be doing that on a really old system if it was even capable of uh, doing that particular type of work. If it was, it would take forever to render those videos out. Uh, Higher definition of uh, photo editing as well, uh, graphic design and things like those. Those are really taxing things that you can do on a computer. And another thing is gaming at high resolutions as well. If you are doing those things on an old system with maybe a CPU that is 10, 12 or 15 years old, I'll be shocked. Most people that install Linux on old systems have got really old hardware and uh, they are using uh, Linux on there because they're a light user. They're not doing any taxing work with that system. That's not to say that Linux can't run on a brand new computer because it can and you can have a really nice enjoyable experience on it but if you've got say for instance like that phenom what we was talking about earlier with linux on there then by all means that means you are a light user and you're not going to be doing anything too taxing on that computer i can guarantee it you'll be playing games at probably 720 or 1080p at a push with low resolutions and low uh, specifications just to make sure it runs and you're still going to get bottlenecking stuttering and also other issues like that if you have a really old system. So bear that in mind. So just to answer some people's questions, the PC that I did yesterday, which had a Ryzen 3800X in it, and I replaced that with a 5800X3D, the Ryzen 3800X is still a very capable processor in 2023. It's still very powerful, and it can still do video editing, and it can still do photo editing, and it can still play games as well so just for clarity it wasn't the fact that the pc couldn't do anything for me anymore it's the fact that i've already built a brand new 7000 series pc and i wanted to rebuild this system and give it some upgrades and then hopefully uh, sell it on or give it away to someone that needs it and that's basically where i was at with it so i just replaced all the parts and got it up to snuff uh, ready for resale or to give it away to someone so if you're in the same situation and you have the older Ryzen 3800X, and I say old because there is a newer generation which you can slot into that board, which makes it older. So basically, uh, if you've got a 3800X, you could basically put in there a 3800X3D inside there. The temperatures will come down a lot more. And also, you'll be able to resell the 3800X and probably get around about £100 to £120 for it on eBay. And that will recoup some of the money that you spent for the CPU and it will make it a very good affordable cheap upgrade for your system and give that a new lease of life for at least another few more years. Now if you're looking to sell your 3800X PC completely I wouldn't bother upgrading it at all because you're going to be finding it hard to recoup that money just sell it as is. So if you're undecided break it down into two sections what you need and what you want. If it's a desire then obviously it's not a need. And if you do need something, work out what your needs are. And if it's something that you definitely need, then definitely consider upgrading or maybe buying or building a brand new computer. Is it worth upgrading all the time? Not necessarily. That's up to you to work out whether the cost is worth upgrading or whether it's worth building new. Now, I know not everyone can afford brand new computers or upgrading, and that's unfortunate, but that's just the way of the world we live in today and you're just going to have to work out something uh, for the foreseeable future, maybe put some money away until you've got the money to upgrade to a brand new computer. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. <laughs>